here's my goal. I want to see what can I find for under $20 and flip for over $100. All right, let's move this out of the way and get to this chickenness. O-M-G. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. I feel like I have not done this in ages. It hasn't been that long. I am doing some self-care. I am getting some balance to my life and uh, hopefully going to be a good example. Um, there's, a, there's just a lot. There is just a lot going on right now, and uh, I, I can't share details yet. Details are coming, but there's a lot going on right now. Um, some good, some bad, um, but, you know, that's life, right? Uh, but I am at Goodwill, and I am excited to go in and see what I can find. Now, here's my goal. I want to see what can I find for under $20 and flip for over a hundred dollars. That's my goal. That's kind of like my mission now. Under 20 for over a hundred. Let's go in and see if we can make that happen. Let's get shop done. And I'm wondering how much Halloween is still taking up the place or have they cleared it out already? See what our color is. It's orange is 50% off. Oh, it's all gone. Just like that. Halloween is gone. <laughs> all right. Let's grab. Okay, that's not a lucky card. That that's a look. Oh, now it wants to come with me. No, you go back. So I changed it up a little today because uh, I had to make a little pit stop at the back of the store. You know, no plumbing at the at the good stuff and all of that right now. So uh, let's take a peek in a place we don't normally start. That is an interesting lamp. Okay, little uh, little creative uh, juice is flowing there. All right, let's peek through some art. Little wine label kind of art. Hmm. Really looking to upscale. Really looking to upscale. And then, of course, look at cool fish. Ooh, that's cool too. Oh, he's got he's got damage. He was cool. He was cool. I would have almost gotten that for personal use. Let's put you over there. Come back and look at this one. Now, the fact that it's still in its like casing. I don't think it's, I mean, I guess it could be vintage and just nobody ever did anything with it. We are glad you like our decorations. Please leave them here so others may enjoy them as well. Huh. It's orange. It's 250 I really like this. I think that's the first item in my cart. I'm gonna dig down here a little more and see if that's the only one, or are there more? Are there more little flowers in casing? Ooh, butterflies are pretty. That's pretty, but it's like, again, these are like, I'm pretty sure those are like hotel art. Just the way they're done, that's kind of not, anything high-end. I think, I think that's it. Let's look at the bigger art. See, I have found some really good things at this store. I will say, they get nice art donations. I swear I, I own those somewhere. I feel like I, I have those somewhere. Hollywood sign signed. It's the signature on there that caught my eye. 
Crazy Cam Gallery, 1999 for $6.99. Let's take a peek at that a little, little more. Woo. Let's look. It's kind of a cool piece for $6.99. I think I'm going to grab that. It's large abstract art. Ooh, I really like that black and white. Now they are asking $20 on that one. Don't think it's quite worth that for us. Oh, I see some cool. I see some vintage cool for three ninety nine. dollars uh, We'll take that one. All right, they brought out a new cart over here. Let's take a peek inside. Let's see what we've got. Pencils. Hang your own gallery? What is that? Wonder what that is all about. I'm gonna make a gallery wall over my TV. That's like the new thing to do. And uh, I have a lot of art and nowhere to go with it. So I think that's my answer. Okay, I was heading back up to the front of the store and I got sidetracked by little piggies by Papel, California, made in China. He is vintage. Little vintage piggy for $5. But again, this is that Nicky Nacky stuff. He's probably going to sell for 12 to 15. So is he worth my time? I don't, I don't think he is. I'm sorry. And then there's this wizard vase thing. He makes you, I don't know. It just doesn't feel very high quality at all. Yeah, big hassle factor too. So we're going to leave that. Let's look over here in the wood section. Lots of stuff on the shelves. Ooh, apothecary jar sitting precariously. What is that? Something and a wildflower. And it's like a, a whole poem. It's a bird bath because I see the box right there that says bird bath. But what kind of a stand would you put that on? <gasps> this is a turtle dish. Could I use it as a, I think I could use this as a turtle dish. How much art? So it's meant to go on a bird bath stand, but it doesn't have to, right? Oh, see, $7.99. Um, yep, I'm getting it. This is interesting look at these beads put on here fifteen dollars we will pass on that at fifteen dollars well there's a little handicraft made out of a cigar box and this one not yet handicrafted made out of a cigar box oh that was very lightweight i expected that to have a little more weight to it before six beers and after six beers. Okay, that's kind of funny. Skeleton fish. Trivet. I think it's meant to be like a trivet, right? For $4.99? We'll take you. Oh, those are paper mache marionettes. They are all tangled up together. $10. Probably not a bad price, but that's a lot of untangling that has to be done. It's kind of a pretty box. Came from probably Ross or Home Goods. And now it's $7.99. I believe that one. Take a peek at this puppy dog. Hand painted. Put right there on the front to tell you. Bye. Ernie Villator. He was proud of his hand painting. I think we're going to leave that one. Oh, this is really cute. I love you this much. That's really cute. How much are you? $5.99. Came from Hobby Lobby. No, we're not going to do it. We're not going to. That one's just. The value just isn't there. Got to get smarter. Got to get smarter. I gotta tell you, 
I did a lot of stuff uh, for whatnot, and it it really changed my reselling way. I always did things, and I've got to get my mojo back. I really got to get my mojo back. I got to practice what I have always preached for years and years. I I fell away. I, you know, it was it was not good. B Smith. Be Smithful. They're three dollars each. What is this? Ooh, that is a mask. Nope, not for us. I feel like I'm going into a new phase of my life again. The stuff that is happening right now, it's it could be very devastating. In fact, I think I think a lot of people would be crushed by it, but. I am looking at it as a springboard. I am looking at it as, okay, okay, uh, this is just my step to the next thing. So the next big thing is coming. Ooh, a science experiment. Oh, uh, these canisters are cool. These are not in the greatest of shape. They're dented and scratched. Four, five, six. Yeah, that's a not a reseller price for sure. If they were in perfect condition, then possibly, yes. Ooh, what could you do with these? Like, I know, oh, it's a wine holder. I thought they were springs. No, it's a wine holder. I guess you could take springs and turn them into a wine holder. I feel like I saw this the last, no, this just came out today. So I didn't see this the last time I was here, but I saw something similar. This is a, uh, just a, a hobbyist piece, a studio piece. It's a little off kilter. It's not, it's not quite level and it's, I mean, they're, they're going places, they're getting there, but that one's not quite ready for prime time. Is that another, oh, I thought it was almost another bird bath. It's not, but it's a pretty piece that says not for food use. So we cannot use that even as a waterer. So leave it, we will. All right, I think we're done in these rows. All right, let's hit our front row here. Let's see what we've got. This looks like Yixing. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Yeah, it is Yixing clay. Normally you see teapots. They just have little things in there. That's an interesting little sugar bowl. It's got some potential. It's $4.99. You know what? I'm gonna grab it. That's Mikasa Holly Slay. Oh, it is the season. We're getting there. They do want $12.99 for that. I think that's a little more than we can pay. And then there was a cowboy cow. A little trinket. This is pretty. It's very modern. It's $8.99. See all the crazing? I'm not even sure if that is uh, intentional or, and I'm almost kind of thinking it's, it doesn't open. Is it an urn I'm not, or is it just decorative? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not getting a real strong buy me vibe off of it. And then uh, there's a hand with a broken finger. Kind of a fun hobbyist piece, but it is a hobbyist piece. Those are pretty. Plate holders though, oof. Hate plate holders. Ascot service plate by Wooden Sons. So it is a transferware. Pretty. And then there was penguins. Types of penguins. That's kind of cool. It's two bucks. You know what? I know. No, I was gonna buy this. And I'm like, no, it needs to stay there. And so does the like faux coppery elk. I see it. It's staying here on the shelf. This is art glass that is not very good quality. See those kind of those striations. It almost looks like a resin cut. So we stay away from those. Oh goodness. Since I've used all my sick days, I'm calling in dead. That's, that's just horrible. Cute little duckies. No, 
if you pull that tape off of there, all of their little sisals coming with them. This is a three-legged horse. Three-legged horses don't do too good. 1987. What in the world? I am not even sure what I'm looking at here. Why does he have a big whistle around it? I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Let's move along. Ooh, I see a whale. Let's see, he looks vintage. Who makes you, little whale? Oh, you've got a big crack in the back. That is too bad. He's super cute. I don't know who makes him, but if he wasn't cracked, I would get him, but can't do it with the crack. Let's see what else we got. Precious moments. Ugh. I had a whole collection of these. I don't even know where they ended up. I really don't. I didn't sell them. They just in somewhere along the way, they disappeared. Oh my gosh. Here they all are. Wow. I do still have a Precious Moments nativity scene though. That I probably will not part with because I collect nativity scenes and it's really cute. I mean, Precious Moments are cute, let's face it, but they do take up a lot of space and uh, they're not a very high-end collectible anymore. Interesting elephant, he is $10. All right, let's see, more piggy, somebody's piggy collection looks to be donated. It is not for us. Okay. Let's see what we've got in the candle holders. No, nothing too exciting. Not, not anything we need tonight. All right, let's see what we've got here. I don't know. I guess there's shades. And then there's some wood seahorses. Not very exciting ones, I might add. Hmm. Some fall theme. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? <laughs> what is going on here? It's a. Uh... What are you? I don't know what. I don't know what you are. I think you're like a snowball with hair. Okay, I'm gonna leave that. Pumpkin. I showed my pumpkin hoard in my last video. Go back and watch if you have missed it. And I have big pumpkins and little pumpkins and all kinds of pumpkins. And I'm looking at these pumpkins and I'm going to say no. I'm not going to add any more pumpkins right now. As much as I would like to add some cute little pumpkins, I'm going to be good. Oh, look, they're clearancing their Halloween inflatables. I don't know, that just really doesn't seem like that big of a clearance, does it? Oh, I do like, I like these blue flowers. Are they, can you only buy them in the vase? Cause I kind of just want those blue, I kind of just want these blue flowers. I do, I bet they'll sell them to me. I'm gonna find out. He's cute. Nothing too special though. This looks like Hearth and Hand Magnolia, is it? It does not say, it says not food safe. What? How can you have a picture that's not food safe? That's just wrong. It's an interesting piece made in China. That is Mikasa, fairly common piece of Mikasa. Look at the brilliance on the bottom of this. It's a nice piece of glass. It looks like it should be marked. It's probably again a Mikasa. And they are asking $20 on that one. And then, yes, I'll look at the angel. It's also Mikasa for $10. This is what caught my eye. Very, very decorative. It is Mud Pie, which is a good brand. They want 15 for it. I can't do much with it at $15, I'm afraid. What is this Easter chicken? Oh, it's a toy. Okay, it's a toy. The two piece together. All right, let's look over here. Rachel has asked me to look for 
a pot to make a plant in. So I'm on the lookout for a good sized pot for Rachel to do something with. That's different. This is interesting. For $7.99. Decorative purposes only. It's not that old. And it's not signed. So we will leave it. I don't see any really good sized pots like I'm looking for, but I see a chicken. All right, let's move this out of the way and get to this chickenness. O-M-G. It's $15. It's $15. It's a terrine. Oh, this might, this might be the piece. This might be the piece that I've been looking for. The spoon is inside. I hear it rattling around. I don't know the condition till I get it home, but even without the spoon, this is made in Italy. This is fantastic. This is what I'm talking about. Let's go down the plastics just a little bit. See what goodies. Ha ha ha. Check that out. Build. It's the Taco Bar rules. Build. Eat. Repeat. Holy guacamole. That is a fun tray right there. I got it. Oh, it's a Lazy Susan too. It's a Novo Gratz. I kind of love that. I do. I kind of love the taco serving. I, I have no use for it though. And I don't think the resale value on it is such that I should be picking that up. But I do. I do love it. All right. I think I'm doing pretty good avoiding some temptations I otherwise might fall prey to. Ooh, a decorative fishing net thingamajig. Ooh, doesn't have a price on it, but I need this. What is this little interesting thing? Bud vases. I count bud vases. So it came from like the dollar store. It's interesting. It's got a neat look to it. Is that? No, it's just a separate little starfish. That's a cool baskety thing. Look, it's just made in China though. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right. It's an interesting cart right now. It's got a little got a little mixture in there a few things for myself this looks like a vintage stoneware it's anko stoneware it is made in china it's not that old it's not that old a lot of stuff is made to look old and then you have to dig a little deeper j and g meekin those are cute but not something we're going to pick up. What about these Blue Ridge? Okay, Blue Ridge, hand painted. Made in USA. It's $6 for two plates. Mm, $3 a plate. I think we can do that. All right, let's look through the mugs for anything special. I like this. I can fix it. That's cute. Oh, that's pretty. Has a bit of an anthropology look to it, I must say. I wonder if that would have been like one of those stacking sets for anthropology. Hmm. Not marked. It's a risk, but it's only a $1.99 risk. I'm going to grab it. It's the Dilbert dog. Must have coffee. That's cute. Vintage. 2009. It's actually not vintage. Huh. Who would have thunk? Okay, well. We may be passing right by this mug section. Pretty quick. Pomegranate. That's the kind of mug, like if you had two of them, it might be good. Got some 
milk glass, grape. I guess they're tumblers. I don't know, it seems a little uncomfortable to drink out of, but that's maybe why uh, we don't drink out of those anymore. There are some shorter sherbet sized ones as well. These don't sell for much. Ugh, I love this Mexican blown glass. Oh, these are down to $1.50 each. This is ever so tempting. That's three, that'd be $6 for the set of four. Mmm, I think I'm, I'm gonna pick them up this time. Let's look through the glassware a little bit. I do love these, these are Libby. And they will sell, but they don't sell for like a whole lot. They're just fun and whimsical, and I like fun and whimsical. But I see them a lot. They are in the thrift stores a lot. But what you don't see a lot is the Grey Goose martini glasses for $2.99 a piece. I will pick those up. Let's see what this is up here. Oh, little box. I feel like that one's been here a little while. And then, oh, there's something inside of there. It's like pottery and pottery. Oh, it's World Market. All right, nothing that we need. This store probably has the best kitchen assortment of things. Like, I always find a lot of things to choose from at this store. Look at these, these are cool. Missing some of the riggery though. <gasps> That's like 1970s vintage, but is it? Is it really a desirable piece? I don't, I don't feel like it is. I feel like knickknacks are going away. Like knickknacks is not what people are looking for now. They're looking for functional or beautiful or high value. Not really looking for knicky knackies. So I am trying to steer away from knickknacks. All right. Like little puppy dog planters are questionable because you could put a plant in it. But I'm not going to get him. Just not upscale enough for me. Let's see, those are interesting. They're older, but again, it's kind of one of those things like, mm, is anybody really interested in that right now? I mean, we're going to get into some interesting times and uh, we got to really be on our toes with watching what the buyers are going to be interested in. It's a never change. I shouldn't say never changing, ever changing. It's an ever changing thing. Uh, I wish there was four of those turtle coasters, but there's not. There's only three. All right, only Vegas. Oh, okay. Pots and pans and appliances, not, not my niche. Although that Sunbeam Mixmaster, that's kind of special. Heritage series, I don't know what that means, but it is $39.99. It looks like it's not that old. It looks a little bit more contemporary, but it is cool. Ooh, perm curlers. Ooh, now those are really torture devices. Those are pencils whittled. Those are cute little whittled pencils. I mean, I don't know what you do with them, but silk painting. What's that? Oh, you paint the scarves. That's cool. I wonder if Rachel would do that. $5 red tag. I feel like she's pretty set in her painting ways. So that would just be something else to clutter up her very full room. You notice I have to look in all of the boxes. That would be a wine box. You have to look, right? Am I the only one? No, I can't be the only one that has to look in all of the little containers. You know, just, just because. Because you have to. All right, let's move into the their crafty section. Let's 
see what will tempt us. I don't know what this is all about. Just some some wicker items. Got some helmets. Yeah, I don't think anything is too exciting here tonight. Blame it all on my roots. <laughs> That's funny. That's a cute. It's not quite big enough. Not quite big enough. I need something bigger. Hmm. Nothing over here except give me a G. Oh my goodness. Now not only is there one peanut paradise, there's two peanut paradise. There's going to be some happy dogs somewhere. All right, let's peek through the pillows. I really haven't found any good pillows lately, but we always have to look. Yeah, no, today's another no good pillows day. Do you see it? I'm scoping it out. It looks like it's got a lot of bracelets in it. I don't think this one is gonna be good for us. And those are some cool Yes, there is a vacuum being tested. <laughs> I know, I haven't caught one for a while. Um, those are cool, but not super exciting to deal with right now. And I really don't see any jewelry that is tickling my fancy. So, I don't even think there's anything we want to have them take out of the case today. Okay, well that's it for us tonight. We're going to head to the checkout. Stay tuned for the recap. I will tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much is worth. Let's see if my $15 chicken is worth as much as I think it is. That's coming up right now.